guys, I just wanted to um, address a question that is often coming up lately about um, Shakeology and um, just the using just a regular way that you can pick up in any convenience store or um, I'm sorry, drug store, um, GNC, places like that. So um, I just want to point out on the bag, um, the real benefit to Shakeology, aside from tasting amazing, uh, which some of the whey powders um, do not taste bad at all, and especially if you're going to be using them um, with fruit and different things like I often do with my Shakeology. Um, and I personally have done whey protein shakes for years. There's um, nothing wrong with the whey protein. I just want to point out that with Shakeology, you are actually getting um, your multivitamin as well. So you do not get that... Um, when you're using the regular whey powder. So I'm just gonna kind of zoom in here and show you, hopefully um, it will let me to zoom. There we go. Um, so calories um, on the 21 day fix, uh, we don't look at the calories, but um, as you can see, um, and I'll move it over to the Shakeology in one second, uh, the calories are pretty much the same, but really where you're gonna see the biggest differences is in these vitamins. The only, um, the protein is really the only one that's a substantial amount of, um, of the vitamins in here. Um, down towards the bottom, there are some um, amino acids, so that is good in there in the in the way. Um, so you can kind of look at those ingredients there. Um, this uh, this particular one, I think I bought at CVS uh, for I think it was about twenty five to thirty dollars is what I had gotten this. Uh, way this bottle of whey before I had um, started on the Shakeology. So now I'm going to show you the Shakeology, um, which is really, it has so much more than just the protein in it. And that's one thing that I think that people don't understand. Um, so I'm just going to zoom in here and you can see um, that there is no, um, no cholesterol at all in the Shakeology, whereas I'm looking at the whey and it does have 46% of cholesterol. So if you're one who is watching that, that's something to consider as well. Um, there's the ingredients list down there, which I know you probably um, can't read all of that, but it does have a lot of really good um, just nutrients in it for our bodies. Um, it is non-GMO fructose. Um, it has uh, natural chocolate flavor. Um, it does have a low glycemic index, which is good for people who might be diabetic and trying to watch their sugars. Um, okay, so here you can see there's a glare, but you can see the vitamin A, it has 100%. The vitamin C is 300%. Vitamin D, 50 E, and you can read for yourself, but um, I'm just going to try to adjust that so it reduces the glare. Um, so as you can see, you will not need to take a multivitamin with this Shakeology, and I think probably because you're drinking it, it probably does um, absorb better, although I am not a nutritionist, but I'm thinking that that's probably the case. Um, in addition to the vitamin content on the Shakeology, the other thing is that it does have, if you look at that, um, it does have the uh, probiotic and the digestive enzyme in there. So if you're one who is trying, who is taking a supplement to get your probiotic in, again, you will not need to have that in addition to the Shakeology. You will get it in your shake that you drink um, daily. It does um, detox your body It um, with the super greens that are already in it as well. It does have an antioxidant in it. Um, it has the chia, the flax, the quinoa, the amaranth pea. So just has a ton of really good Good stuff in it. So I just wanted, I know if you can't afford the Shakeology, um, certainly wouldn't want anybody to go over their budget. But if you are simply just comparing two products and wondering why I can't just do um, the way, um, you certainly can, but you are not going to be getting as much as you will be getting if you do the Shakeology. So I hope that answered some questions for that. Any other questions, please uh, inbox me on Facebook um, or, uh, or message me and um, I'll hopefully uh, be able to answer your questions. Hope you're having a good day.